Hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? Megan can say her highs now. Hi. Wants. Yeah, Megan, I gotta admit, even after all this time, I'm still not entirely too sure how to have you say your thing. Because I feel like I could say my hellos and then you could speak. But then I always think there's going to be dead air. Sometimes there might be. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should like introduce you. if you, Because, I mean, you're, you've been a part of this for long enough. I don't think you need an introduction. I'd be probably not. Uh, let me let me just adjust my, my exposure really fast. Because I feel like I need to be a bit brighter, but not too bright. Because I found that actually sometimes my camera is a little too bright and probably has been for quite some time. But that's the, the beauty of streaming. You learn even more as you go on, even if you feel like you've already learned enough already. I want right? to be done learning, though, Matt. No, it never ends. <laughs> it absolutely never ends. So, yeah, hopefully you're all having a great day. So today... Uh, we're going to be doing something a little different um, because we didn't do any Psychonauts last time because Psychonauts yes. uh, didn't want to work for me. Well, OBS didn't want to work for me. Psychonauts is working fine. Uh, we weren't able to get that stream going. So today we figure since it's Pokemon Presents Day and yeah, we're, we're into Pokemon now. I'll get those videos up eventually, I promise. Um, <laughs> that it would be fun to watch. And Megan's always been into Pokemon anyway. So even if I wasn't, it'd be fun to watch regardless. Um, I mean, we'd be doing it regardless whether on stream or not, but... <laughs> yeah, right. So we figured we'll do Pokemon Presents and uh, we'll do some Psychonauts right after, which I think seems like a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going uh, to start the stream up for Megan here really quick so we can be in sync. Now, are they going to actually give us a new Mystery Dungeon game? I don't know. I guess we'll have to just see. I mean, I think it could be likely. I haven't seen anything relating to the um, thing yet, so I cannot say. Yeah, neither have I. I'm just hoping. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, Bass. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, friendo? Hey, Bass. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, closed captions. <laughs> I guess I have it turned on. Today's presentation. I've never seen captions do that. Yeah, that was weird. Including the Pokemon oh, look at the little Skeleturge plush. Yeah, you're right. They have some good plushes. I'm just going to turn up a little bit. The Pikachu looks a little weird. Oh, I'm just going to turn up a little bit. It's going to flash yeah, on the stream really quickly. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown. Hey, Chris Brown. Oh, look, it's the Pikachu trophy. I'm pretty sure that's the one they give out for, like, the VGC tournament or whatever. Potentially. Oh, let's see if the closed caption is working a bit better again. Nope, they dumped it all into the first bit. That's really funny. They made a mistake. These new world it's fine to turn off, I guess. Walk home with the exclusive champions line of product for this Ooh. Game. To honor the season long accomplishment of making it to the world championships, every competitor will also That's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. Also, Pikachu eating ramen is like a thing I didn't know I needed in my life, but it's super cute. <laughs> which showcases unique art See, Beth says, how do you hope things are going all right? The day's been pretty good so yeah. far. Got a good bit done. Awesome. Then he says, mm -hmm, I think they have plushies of every Pokemon. They might. They have been working on it. I don't oh, know if they're quite there yet. Oh, that's cute. Only sold at the on site Pokemon Center. Damn. I guess we'll need to go. Oh, that Lapras is cute too. I like that. They probably make so much money selling merch at these. <laughs> probably. And tune into our live broadcast for the event. Now, let me hand it off to our Japan project lead, Rakia, to share the exciting world celebration events happening around Yokohama and Nato Marai beginning today. Thanks, Chris. Rakia Watanabe here from the Pokemon Company. Hello. <laughs> to celebrate the Pokemon World Championships 2023. We've begun a number of events here. You're not looking at the camera. It's kind of a problem. 
We're collaborating with various facilities in Yokohama yeah. so that visitors can experience Images and videos are conceptual, huh? Of each region in the Pokemon oh, that's cool. And you'll find plenty of photo ops set up for you. Mm, okay, we'll that's cool. Work around Sakura Gicho Station and Minatomedai Station to celebrate the World Championships. Additionally, we'll have a specially equipped luxury cruise ship docked at the quay for you to enjoy during the competition period. From August 11th to 13th, stop on by the Pokemon Trainer Cruise. There are many spaces on board where Pokemon trainers from around the world can gather and mingle to enjoy some casual trading and battling with their Nintendo Switch consoles and Pokemon TCG decks in hand. And there are many more events being held, including Pikachu parades. Nice. Yay! <laughs> we I always love seeing the videos of the Pikachu parades. Together with Pokemon in Yokohama Minatomidai. For more details, please visit the special events website. Finally, I think Chris and I would both like to say... Otanoshimi! Mate, nice. good job. We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championships to share with you. Yeah, I like that Spirit Tito up in the upper left. Like yeah, the one that has a little, like, cherry blossom flower. Pokemon Company International. Yeah. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Ooh. Yokohama on August 11th, alongside the Pokemon World Champion. Now, is this the one that was talked about um, before? The one that's like a documentary? A that brings the Pokemon trading card game to life mm. as you've never oh, seen. A trading card game to life. Set in the it might be. World of competitive Pokemon trading card game play. It's huh. Ooh, are we getting like a poke? Okay, that's kind of cool. We're all doing Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, essentially. That's interesting. With the support of family, community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. Here's a sneak peek. Very different animation style. I know it's tough moving to a new place. Yeah. But think of it as a new start. You'll try new things, make new friends. Not Pikachu or Agami. And eventually, you'll find your place. Oh man. Challenge accepted. Welcome to the Pokemon Also, Team 10, that's hidden power. That's nice. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's clever. That's awesome. I know. Right? So this actually seems like it'll be fun, actually. It is. I'm surprised they're going for an art style like this. Okay, see, I kind of like that. I like that. Yeah, that looks like it'll be fun to watch. Look out for Pokemon Path to the Peak. Episode 1 will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. Oh, that's pretty soon. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to watch that, because that seems like it'll be pretty fun. Yeah. The first ever Pokemon World Championships to be hosted in Japan is nearly upon us. We hope everyone is looking forward to it as much as we are. Next up, we have the latest on the return of that tough-talking Pikachu. Ah. The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you might call a great detective. Yeah, do I need to play the I other Detective Pikachu game? Here in Rhyme City. I'll be honest, I'm not sure. Pokemon live side by side. Because I do think this could be fun. And not just because the coffee's outstanding. When I'm not busy solving cases that crop up, I'm looking for leads on my missing partner. And I'm just going to pause just so I can read the, the park, chat real quick. Because I figure it's probably a good way to do it. I mean, it's not live. I can do that, right? That's good. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let's see. Bass says, Now, uh, what do we want to say about the games? Their merch is always on point. Their revenue is mostly merch. Yeah, like 80 billion. That's like 90% of it. Do love the murals too. The murals were pretty good. Murals are cute. I'll say yes, the merch is really good. I kind of wish they had more of it locally here and I didn't have to like order from the Pokemon Center online. Uh, Bass says, okay, I checked again. 64 billion, the games are included versus 17 billion for the games. And like eight, 6 billion of that is from the mobile games. Honestly, I just yeah. generally don't like the look of Path of for the Peak, although maybe that's just a just a general art style feeling cheap, even if it isn't. I like the art style personally. But it's I don't know why. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it, re it reminds me of something. I and mean, I I'm not a huge like it. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the art style. I think it looks too much like cheaply made American cartoons. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what they're going for or not. But uh I could probably get used to it watching it. I don't think it would bug me enough to not watch it. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of in the minority here, it seems. 
So. But <laughs> I, think it, I think it looks pretty good. About me? All right, I think it all fits right. what it is. I I open up you know? Bit. Yeah. First, here's Tim. He's my partner at the moment. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Hmm. Then Pretty young. Tim's mom, Irene. I would say he looks the same, just with the Sophie. goatee. There's also Rachel, who goes to college with Tim. Well, speaking of Rachel, her dad, Howard, he's actually the mayor of Rhyme City. Oh, and a mayor mayor. I the surface of all the interesting Daddy? characters around here. <laughs> now, let me give you the gist of what me and Tim do. Whenever an incident occurs, Tim talks to the people. I talk to the Pokemon, and we work together using our case notebook to deduce. Okay, what you know what? I actually didn't think about. Yeah, one could talk to Pokemon, one could talk to people. That makes sense. Yeah. be a good team. Okay. Oh right. Sometimes other Pokemon help us with our investigations. Take Rowlet, for instance. She can track down suspects with her sensitive nose. Ah, nice. And Darmanitan here packs a pulverizing punch. It actually looks like it might be a little more involved from what I saw the first game. Yeah, you think so? Well, because I don't remember being able to, at least from the trailer footage, being able to use different Pokemon to, like, solve cases. Oh, that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. So this looks like it might be like an actual sequel. We just can't catch a break. In that case, yeah, I'm down to play the first one, I guess, if I can find it somewhere. We just want to find Yeah, I don't have the first one, unfortunately. <laughs> that is fine. Why that day? Isn't it obvious? That's the release date for Detective Pikachu returns. Let's solve some mysteries together. Now are you gonna get this one, Megan? I'm not sure. To be honest, like it definitely looks interesting. Right. I just thought the Tough first talking, game was kind of mediocre. Power. The self-described great detective Pikachu works together with his partner, Tim, to solve cases around town. Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch Systems is now available for pre-order on Nintendo eShop and at participating retailers and online stores. I like how they just casually threw Mewtwo in the back there. We hope you check it out. And uncover for yourself the truth behind the strange cases these two must tackle. Next, we have a number of announcements and updates to share with you. Yay! Okay, that was cute. Oh, is this the anime? Mm, Horizons yeah. the series. Okay. So they're dropping the subtitle for the English release, huh? Apparently. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Now are they going to show off any of the English voice acting? Hmm. With a mysterious Pokeball. I do really like the show. Megan, I, I think we talked about it before, but Megan and I have been watching the Japanese version um, as it airs. And uh, yeah. it's pretty good. I, I like it, personally. It's been really fun. I've been really enjoying it. More than I thought I would. And I would be curious to check out the English release just to see um, how much might be changed, right? Yeah. I would be curious about like the English dub at some point and like you said, the localization and how much they might change. I don't know if they would change a ton. Yeah. I want to know about this turtle though, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pokemon Go Pokemon stuff. Pokemon Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon Go Fest events. The locations oh boy. for 2023 include London, Osaka, and coming next weekend, New York City. On August 26th and 27th, we will also be holding Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global, a digital event that can be enjoyed from anywhere. In this year's Pokemon Go Fest, Diancie uh. will appear for the first time ever. Diancie can Mega Evolve into Mega Diancie 2. Uh, Bass is asking, how much was the first Detective Pikachu anyways? For some reason, I thought it was free. I want to see the idea expanded. Now, I'm pretty sure it was its own, um, separate game, right? It was its own separate game on the 3DS. It was retailed at, like, 50 Canadian, so I think 40 in the States. 
Hmm. But yeah, I just kind of heard it was kind of meh, so I never picked it up. New fashion so, accessories for Scarlet Violet. I was going to say, they're showing off new fashion, but like, is this in relation to Pokemon Go? I don't know. It could be like real life merch too, I suppose. I mean, it could be. Yay! Did they come into Pokemon Go? Scarlet shoes. Yeah, it's definitely real life merch. It might. Well, Pokemon. Well, they say Pokemon Go. Oh. Though. In September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Ah, okay. Suit up for adventure and head out in search of Pokemon. So it's just Paldea Pokemon, Pokemon are coming to go. Kanto to Paldea. Yeah. It's a lot of Poliwags. <laughs> yeah, they just had a Poliwag community Pokemon day a little while ago. As we continue through I think the next one is Froakie. Your adventures will only continue to expand with the oh, Nobody cares, Megan, about Pokemon Go. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I haven't been involved in it at all. Pokemon yeah. Unite. I like how they're saying this when the anniversary events like halfway through now. I'm also just bugging you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Bit. My big Eevee. Panic Parade is boring. I don't like it. And I'm sure some people care about Pokemon Go. I mean, some people probably do. What's I don't the, anymore. What's with the um, Tinkaton? Uh, it's like a, a cooperative mode you play with people and in, so you like fight against AI waves and stuff. And you have to try and protect the pink or Tinkaton. Okay. Hmm. But like I played it on four or three of the four difficulties and like it's just kind of boring. <laughs> Nah, big Mewtwo. Yeah. Oh, they're adding the Y form? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know, I would like to play it more. I just need to find the time for it. Yeah. So join in the fun and excitement of this year's world championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting oh, nice. platinum boost emblem. Yeah, platinum boost, I mean sure. Yeah, they had an event last weekend for the Pikachu one, and like I forgot to log in on Sunday, so I didn't get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay, it probably doesn't matter too much. No, it really doesn't matter. It's the same stats as the gold one from what uh, I saw online. I just don't have a gold one yet, so it would have been nice. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so much more fun than I ever even knew. Let's have us a fruitful battle. At last, I would say, is that the Nimona voice actor, actor for English? Oh, yes. EX, okay. At least for EX. Nimona will make her debut in a new story event coming soon. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I just don't care about Master's EX. Nimona and Palmot are a special sync pair with the new sprint role. Sync pairs with the sprint role excel at attacking quickly. By introducing hmm. new roles like this one, battles in Pokemon Masters EX will keep on evolving. The Poke Fair featuring Nimona and Palmot will go live right after this broadcast. Be sure to check them out when you're done tuning in. I feel like I just made Palmot like her Pokemon. Another special event will be held yeah. to celebrate Nimona's debut. I was saying, because I see her of Lycanroc a lot more, but I guess Palma is the Paldea Pokemon she has. Yeah. Starting August 16th, Not Pony. Oh. And Spectrier will appear. They're a sync pair with a new field role, which excels at field effects. Anyone who completes this event can team up. I've never heard of that Pokemon in my life. It seems kind of uh, neat, though. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that, that's part of Calyrex's thing in Sword and Shield. I think they have, like, Shadow Calyrex and Ice Calyrex or something, and you get one form or the other, depending on which game you're playing. Okay. I, I don't have them yet, because I never finished the DLC. Tatsugiris! <laughs> I was going to say, are they going oh, to cute. Pokemon Cafe or whatever? Yeah, Pokemon Cafe Remix. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Hmm. What's I like these guys in the art style. They actually look really good. They do. Sushi? No, wait. It's the Mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri. Now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. Serve up some delight to... I do like how they're giving each one a uh, different uh, personality. And stretchy form Tatsugiri. Yeah. Some of your best dishes. Progress through the event and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. You just have to decide which Tatsugiri you like most. Hmm. It's a toughie. 
I picked the sassy one in the middle. Stretchy. I mean, I just like the pink that, one. Which one's... No, nah, that one... Pink one is, um... Not stretchy. Which one is it? And beginning today, five star Troopy, maybe? Vaporeon is now available in delivery. Oh, nice. Plus, Sprigatito, Quacoco, and Quaxley are also being featured again in delivery. Celebrate all this good news with a bonus 11 times express delivery. Available now without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon... I like that little Swablu Sunday that Tinkaton has. That's cute. <laughs> that is pretty good. I would eat it. I'd eat the hell out of that. Oh, Ooh. trading card trading games card coming to game. Nintendo Online? Experience the world of the Pokemon TCG in I mean, that makes sense. Pokemon They're not going to release game. actual Pokemon games, I don't think. <laughs> I think they have to, though, don't they? I think they should. I mean, I feel like they would probably make a lot of money having them on the Switch Online, yeah. And battle all sorts of trainers. Like, I feel like they kind of have to at some point. Because, I mean, they already have, like, other Pokemon games on there. They just need to release, like, red, blue, and yellow. A stadium, too. Nice. Oh, it's finally coming? It's going to be a fun one. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that one. Because I've never played Stadium 2, aside from a bit of the mini games. It's fun. I played that one a lot. Several mini games will also be available. You can play Eager Eevee, Pichu's Power Plant, Furret's Frolic, and more with up to three of your friends. I still love how Furret's Frolic is basically Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Sleep. A game that makes waking you still up need to use that, Megan. Was released I've done night. it a couple days. <laughs> you get anything good? No. I keep getting Caterpies and like sleeping. <laughs> stuff like that. You may find Pokemon with rare sleep styles. Ah. Seriously, Seriously lacking. lacking sleep? So oh no! Seriously, many sleep styles waiting to be discovered. We're also preparing a good sleep day in-game event for the night of the full moon in case some people struggle to get enough sleep that oh. night. Oh. Huh. There you go. Okay, that's kind of cool. I hope you can get enough sleep, even on such nights. We're powering up drowsy power on good sleep days so you can meet even more Pokemon. Let's see, uh, in relation to, I, I assume, Pokemon Training Card Game and Pokemon Stadium 2... Uh, best. This was already confirmed, wasn't it? Try I'm not to too sure. Very best rest I think Stadium 2 was. I don't know if the Pokemon trading card game was. What are all Pikachu's doing? We turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The newest nice. games in the core Pokemon Release date. series released in November last year. Please have a look at this video. Okay, I will. Hmm. Well, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. And before we get a visual novel. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Huh. Okay. Are they going to be doing like a Pokemon Origins type style of animated short? You can't even have a hairstyle like that in the game! <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure you can't. Hmm. Baldea wins. Pokemon animated web series. Yeah, it's the yeah. web series. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like the Origins thing. Original animated series yeah. Set in the Paldea region. I mean, that's cool. I do... I do like how the they're the doing it that way Pokemon instead of tying the anime games. into like copying the game story. It is good. To do it like that, I mean. Several academy students as yeah. they come into their own, growing and learning as they attend school. We hope you'll be excited to see Paldea brought to life in this animated series. Yes, yeah, Akrit says I would love a Pokémon visual novel. I think that would be really cool if we they ever did it. Pokemon it would be cool. Pokémon Violet video to share with you all. So this must be the DLC. Yeah. Release date. Oh. Mewtwo Me raids? Too. Okay. That, that's fair. I kind of figured that might happen when it got released in Unite as well. Oh, and Mew.
Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess it would be raids for both of them. Hmm. I Seems just wonder like how they're going to do it. Is it going to be like, oh, if you own this one, you get this type of raid, and if you own this one, you get that type of raid? I mean, it might. They might just have both of them running inside each other. Like, when we just resident Mew is like the four or five star raid, and the Mewtwo is the seven star. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Mew would probably be a fun Pokemon to do Pokemon raids with. Now, that's a cool animation. I have Mewtwo yeah, team challenge mark. Mewtwo. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll be holding an event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team. Well, I guess we're Mew playing Mew some more Pokemon Mew later. <laughs> not probably yet. <laughs> Which I'm okay with. If, if not tonight, maybe the next couple days. Rivals are bringing their fierce battles to yeah, so you say that, like, that's a bad thing. I actually enjoy playing Pokemon, believe it or not. I mean, right I do. Now, you can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the mystery gift menu in your game. Oh, it gives you a random terror type? Use terror type. Nature and moves will differ. Hmm. All right. Huh. Enjoy adventuring in the Paldea region with a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, okay, so we'll need to do that later. Mewtwo will be appearing yeah. in a special terror raid battle event. September 1st to the 17th. So that lasts for a while. Immersed and he's psychic type. This battle, and you'll be able to catch a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. That should be pretty easy. Challenge Mewtwo with Mew Hopefully. Side. Be ready oh. for something special. Oh, interesting. So if you challenge it with a Mew, something special happens. Battle events. That'll help you challenge hmm. Mewtwo. So that's cool. So we should be using Mew for it then. Or at least someone should. This event is slated to begin. I suppose. Before. We hope you'll take part in these events. Finally, we'd like to share some updates about the DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, titled The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Now, is it going to be a release date? Am I going to need to rush out my Pokemon parts so they match up? Because goddamn, I want to get those out. Those are really fun. Okay. I thought so the strange. website they gave might tell you what you get, but it just says you'll get something very special if you battle it with a Mew. The teal mask. Ooh. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, Total it's mask. a new applet form! Oh, is it? That's so cute! He's like a like candy apple! Is. Yeah, okay. Alright. That's cool. Wonder uh, you get that one. I, I wonder if he's gonna be like Dragon Fairy or something. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with that. Seconds. <laughs> ah, good. More photo ups. Kieran. Yeah. Or Kyron. I think it's Kieran. Oh, new robes. Can we get those? I do like how this DLC seems to be more Japanese inspired than Spain inspired. Yeah. That is interesting. I wonder where he traveled to. Applin! <laughs> He's adorable! I want one. Oh no. Uh, getting pissed. <laughs> Bass Acre says that hair would make it tricky to see. Honestly, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> they would, yeah. Oh. So when he terrors, he becomes special? So hmm. they're doing like a Gigantamax Terra thing where certain Pokemon will have different forms when they Terra. Okay. That's kind of neat. Quagsire! <laughs> and the other Gold. DLC. Okay. Okay. Album. Megan, do you notice how, many, how much you say okay during these? It's kind of funny. No, it's not. <laughs> they always say it with the same inflection too. Okay. Okay. Actually, you kind of sound like those seagulls from little uh, Finding Nemo. Mine, mine, <laughs> mine. <laughs> oh, it's those squid things. Neat. Oh, my first yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and you got to Lolan Sandshrew. Oh. Wait, cool. we can actually fly? 
Properly? Seems like that might be the case in this one, huh? Ooh, we got some fossils. Oh, you're cool, cooking uh, up your ball? Soma. That's not a good idea. Soma version in Pokemon, nice. So, I'm assuming this is a different, like, Elite Four. Oh! That's is that cool. a different form of Duraludon? That's cool as hell, dude. I like that. Oh, that's sick. The DLC seems like it's going to be pretty solid. Honestly. Yeah, it does seem like... Oh! oh. It's a Raikou! And, and a what was the other one? Uh, Kabalion. Kabalion. Hey, look at that. It's like some kind of weird draft thing. So I guess that's probably the... Past form. Whatever they call them. I don't I remember. I say, it's it supposed to be like a Bronchiosaurus or something? I guess. And then you have... Kabalion. Kabalion. Okay, that's sick. I like form. that. Okay. All right. So that's what that... Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. I wonder what typing they're gonna get. Looks like a lot of new Pokemon too. They're showing off. Mm -hmm. the varied from Including different the regions. Turtle. The turtle, which we'll finally maybe get the name of and actually get I to see. I want the turtle. <laughs> Ooh, more past pictures, more Ooh. history. <gasps> Is it gonna be something to do with that mark finally? Can I just point this out real quick, right? Just looking at there's a Cyclozar there. Is that supposed to be yeah. related to our Cyclozar? Our boy. I mean, I assume that's probably the founder of the academy, right? Maybe. Hmm. Or at the very least, someone who probably did a lot of research on Area Zero. And that looked really good, though. That did. Down in the land of Kitakami. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy. And Area Zero's hidden... Oh, also, he's got a Pokeball watch. I kind of like that. Let's take a closer look at what we just saw. I'm intrigued. I would like to see. The DLC for Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. Part 1. The Teal Mask. Kitakami, huh? She's got those little Terra earrings. That's so funny. Oh, okay, so we're going on a trip. And a little rocket ship. <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be cool. So yeah, I get it. Oh, Fuchiana. <laughs> I like the reference, though. Oh, I want a Vulpix. Not gonna lie, if I get one, I'm probably gonna use it on my team when we play through the DLC. So I haven't used Vulpix in forever. Ooh. You'll also meet two siblings who study at Blueberry Academy. Hmm. The strong-willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kieran. In battle. Diplin! Oh! <laughs> That's kind of cute. That's a cute name for it. Meet Diplin, a Pokemon that looks a lot like a candy apple. You'll set out on a I love tour it. of Kitakami to learn all about a folktale passed down in this land. Hmm. This folktale tells of Pokemon who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Okay. Okidogi, Monkey Dory, yes. and Pheasantipity. Cool. These Pokemon are known as the Loyal Three, and they're hailed Those names are going to be heroes, probably difficult to remember. <laughs> probably. I like how they're just chasing away the Oni in that sign, though. Festival of Masks. That's cool. A lot of shaved ice. Yeah. What should be the all same stand? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. A traveling photographer is also visiting the village. Meet Perrin. It seems she's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Perrin and help mm. their mission. Mm. Oh. So, kind of like Pokemon Snap in a way. They're bringing Pokemon Snap into this a bit. It seems like it. In the Ogre Austin minigame, you can pop Ogre oh. balloons and try for a high score. All right. As a reward, you'll get mochi, which can I like how they just brought the minute, balloon minigame from Arceus. Hold on, Megan. You talked over something that I think is kind of important. You're right. But still, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. As a reward, you'll get mochi, which can help your Pokemon grow strong. 
Mochi, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like the feather thing. That's a little weird. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. And that's not all. You'll be getting the new Roto Stick too. Take Roto Stick. Ah. Oh, selfie stick. Nice. I like that. That's cute. Enjoy your school trip amid the beautiful land of Kitakami. Part two: The Indigo Disc. Director Cyrano of Blueberry Academy, your academy's sister school, will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is Blueberry Academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly enough, this newly built school lies mostly underwater. Ah. Uh. In the terrarium located within the school, Ooh. you'll find the subtropical savanna biome. The lush coastal biome. The rough and rugged. This is probably gonna be a fun area to explore. Biome, probably. A total of four artificially created areas. They seem relatively big too. Home to many different they do. You'll get to know the students of this academy, take on new classes, and experience a student life that's a bit different from what you're used to. The BB League. Students often engage each nice. other in battle, and they formed a group called the BB League. Oh, First nice. We're going to do some actual double battles? <laughs> does that Graveler have, like, yellow on it? The oh, it does. Yeah, that's the uh, Alolan Graveler. It evolves hmm. into, like, a electric-type golem. Mm, okay, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> Fast Sacker says, the new Mario Kart battle map is looking funky. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. There's the level-headed student, Lacey. The fiery, battle-loving cook, Crispin. The taciturn uh -huh. and cool-headed, Amaris. And Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner, Archaladon, is a new oh. that evolves from Duraludon. Oh, so it's an evolution? Okay. Mm. Waiting to be challenged. To battle them, you'll first I love how it just looks like a bridge when it attacks. Apparently, one of these trials... Going time trial. Maridon cool. Or Maridon ...fly around temporarily. Aww. Can't just let us fly anywhere, man. I mean, it'd be kind of broken, Megan, if you could do that. I know, but it'd be fun. <laughs> One of the extracurricular activities at Blueberry Academy is Maybe we'll get to keep it if we complete it all. Probably not. Probably not, but you can hope. I'll let you hope, at least. Oh, you can decorate it as you please, huh? So this is cool. like the room decoration thing that they you didn't get in the original. Yeah. That is the one thing that still kind of disappointed me. Oh, and you oh. can change your throwing style too, huh? That's really cool. I wonder how many different styles they're going to have. At one point during your study I like that, though. Be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little personalization. Hold on, what was that? What'd she say? You'll be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your special instructors. Ah. You can spend time with huh. these trainers to get to know them better and battle them too. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I wonder how many different throwing styles they will have. You back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? Are we going to finally be able to go in the time machine? <laughs> I'm beginning. I haven't released that the parts Pokemon yet. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. What did you think? We now have the release date for part one. The TL oh, it's coming out September. September. Please watch for future announcements for more news. So on September and so, winter. Yeah, so roughly about a month. We hope you look forward to adventuring in the land of Kitakami. Okay, Megan, you're going to need to help me uh, edit uh, some stuff. <laughs> I'm going to need to do some, some flash That's teaching. Oh, boy. Thank you for tuning in. Damn, no mystery dungeon. No, but that was pretty okay, though, overall, I'd say. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I just, uh, I want my mystery dungeon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and you might get it one day, just not today. But, uh, yeah, I think overall it looked pretty good. Like, I like the stuff they showed about Detective Pikachu, and obviously Path to the Peak looks pretty interesting. 
And yeah. I'm like, oh, a lot of the stuff we saw in the DLC looks really cool too. Yeah. But I am I am really curious as to kind of what you brought up during that is like how many throwing styles will you get? Because that's cool that they're adding more customization for you. Um, yeah. And um, just yeah, like I like that. Like it, it's the little touches like that I think are cool and giving you a room that you can decorate. Because like I said, that's kind of the one thing that uh, I wasn't disappointed in, but thought they could have done a bit more in the base game is that lets you decorate like your um, your dorm room, right? Yeah. No, it definitely is nice that they're adding that. And also, uh, Megan, I don't so think mentioning Time Machine is spoilers. I was just teasing. Don't worry, it's very minor. Okay, <laughs> I just wasn't sure when you said that although megan i haven't released the parts yet so just try to keep try to keep shush for a little bit longer on certain things you haven't done okay. anything yet and i'm just saying from yeah don't don't go saying too much yeah okay things have to be a secret making certain things yeah yeah all right anyway anyway uh so so what would best accurate say uh there's a good amount of potential for an interesting mission given the biomes. Reminds me of your home in the post game of Black and White or was it Heart Gold Soul Silver? Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really remember because I didn't really play a lot of post game of Black and White or Heart Gold Soul Silver. That was kind of when I was a bit out of the series. But th it seemed like there was a lot of room customization there at least. Uh, Bassack says, I assume the Pokemon Red and Blue remake sold well. I mean, I think Let's Go did okay, but it also, at least from what I understand, did alienate a lot of, like, traditional fans. So I don't know if they'll do another one like that. And uh, have they had customizable throwing styles? I really like that. I don't believe so. Because we got, like, the stickers and stuff you could do on the Pokeballs. So when you send them out, they did stuff. But I don't think we've ever had a throwing style. I'm I just, don't believe so. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about it, but I'm also... Not gonna lie, kind of expecting to be disappointed and only having like maybe three styles. <laughs> I mean, still, it's better than nothing, right? Like, I don't think it'll be a lot. I don't think it'll be like hundreds, like what people probably want. Probably won't even reach double digits. But if you get like three, five, that's still all well, right. And the shows they might expand more on it later, right? I mean, that's true. It's the thing they're testing. Because I don't know. Uh, I know that's... a lot of people seem to have this opinion that, like, and, and you are a part of this too uh that what we see here probably won't be carried over into later games but i kind of feel like that's changing a bit i feel well, like maybe i feel like a lot of stuff will be carried over into later games and won't just be forgotten i mean that would be ideal but they've just done it a lot before so admittedly i don't really trust game freak <laughs> yeah you've been into it more so you're allowed to be a bit more cynical about it yeah. Just like how you are with everything else in life. Ooh. Not really. That's not true. You you are a lot more cynical than me with, with stuff. Well, yeah. Um, but you're not like that cynical. You're definitely more the pessimist, though. Well, yeah. A lot. <laughs> you're a lot more the pessimist. Anyway, I'm uh, sorry. Go, go ahead. I like uh, so a little bit. says, oh, sorry, I meant rescue team red and or blue and red. Yeah, I think. The originals, I know they sold really well. I don't know how the remake sold, actually. I'm going to look up and see if I could find that. Uh, so according to Google, as of December 31st, 2022, it sold 1.99 million copies. So basically 2 million copies. Which isn't bad, but that's also not really that good good but i think that is good for the mystery dungeon series in general because like uh so it looks like the original red and blue they sold 5.85 million explorers of time darkness sold 4.88 so it's been going down but that is selling better than the 3ds games did by a little bit hmm. all right so we'll have to see. I wouldn't be surprised if they do a remake of Explorers because that's like the fan favorite Mr. Dungeon game. But I just I want a new one. I mean, I could see them doing a new one eventually. 
Yeah, like it definitely is one of their more successful spin-off series. But I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah, wait and see, right? But I I don't know. I feel like they're going to do it. They're going to give the people what they want a new Mystery Dungeon game uh, eventually. Yeah. Also, now that you brought it back here, that does look like a new school uniform. So maybe when we go to Blue Bell, maybe we'll get different uniforms. I believe it is, yeah. I, I believe we probably will. I think they even showed it like later on. Uh, I think yeah. it was near the end that you were wearing like a different, um, different outfit style. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that backpack he was wearing is also something that's not in the base yeah, see, game, so there, there might go. be new stuff like that. So those look all right. They do seem good. So hopefully they'll be able to add a little bit more, but we'll have to see. I'm I'm still looking forward to the teal mask stuff that's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, like I mean, I'm just looking forward to being able to play more. It's like, yeah. do I need new outfits? No, but it'd be nice for the people that want them. <laughs> right but I mean, i'm happy true. with what we get personally i'm happy enough at least um so yeah i don't know i'm yeah. gonna need to yeah so overall would you say that was good i say it's pretty decent yeah no i'd say overall it was a good presentation like there's a lot of this stuff nothing really that we didn't really already know about i don't believe aside from path to the peak yeah and uh, the mewtwo stuff and the and mewtwo Mew. stuff that's true yeah. So that's something we're probably going to have to do later. Uh, so yeah. yeah, should be pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I thought it was pretty nice.